everybody and welcome back to vlogtober it is vlogtober day 28 today which is crazy we're almost through october it's a really rainy day right now it's actually like pouring rain out it's also later i'm starting this at like 1 p.m because i've just had a slow morning i was at aiden's house this morning and then i came back and i edited edited my video um, this morning, so I got that all done. I still have some emails that I need to do um, And I have a Pilates class in like three hours and three ish hours. I'm going at four I'm gonna make some lunch right now though, and then I thought that I would show you guys um, What was I gonna show you guys? Oh, yeah, I got some new athletic wear in from buff bunny collection So I thought that I would show you guys what I was sent because I want to wear some of the items actually to my Pilates class I feel like this little pink long sleeve would be really cute for that so i think i'm gonna wear that but i'm just gonna make some lunch right now i'm gonna have some soup um and toast i think or maybe soup and crackers i'm really itchy in the bathroom i'm gonna have the amy's organic alphabet soup this one is so good it kind of reminds me of like childhood like that vegetable soup but it's way better than the campbell's one in my opinion this one's really good so I'm gonna have this. It's definitely like soup weather right now because it's so rainy outside. So it's soup is just calling my name. But I want to tell you guys, I finished this book. So I thought I'd give my opinion on it because why not? It's like a good winter thriller, I feel like. I mean, look at it, there's snow on the cover. <laughs> so it's called Breathless and basically it's about a bunch of mountaineers and they're basically climbing a mountain, which I knew nothing about, but now I do, okay? So they were climbing a mountain, people start, people start dying off, okay? It was good. But I feel like I knew who the killer was, oh, like in the beginning. Like it's so easy. It's, my intuition was like it's this guy, and who was it? It was that guy. Like there wasn't really many plot twists. There was one twist that I didn't see coming, but I felt like it was also kind of weird. Like I didn't really get what was the point of that twist. Like I was just like okay. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Overall, it was enjoyable but it also was just a little bit predictable, you know? Just saying, it was. Still enjoyed it, just a little bit predictable. So, I finished this. I think maybe the candles are giving me a headache. I have two candles going right now. I was trying to just set the mood in here. But maybe it's just too much. Maybe it's just too much going on. I think I'm gonna move on next to It Starts With Us. Because everyone's been asking me, I feel like, about this book and reading it. Oh my god, I have another bookmark. I didn't even know I had two bookmarks. What's this one? Oh yeah, the Four Seasons gave me this one. Forgot about that. Okay, I'm just the lady with all the bookmarks now. I think I'm going to start this because I read It Ends With Us. It was really good. I feel like this should be a pretty 
quick and easy read. It's not super long. Shouldn't be too difficult to get through. We got really big text going on in here. It shouldn't be bad. And I'm hoping that I'll really enjoy it. So I'm going to read this. I might actually read a bit right now because this weather is just not it. It's so miserable out. I thought about making a tea too. Tea always just helps my headaches. It just soothes my mind, I swear. But I think I'll show you guys the items first that I picked up from Buff Bunny or were sent to me. I have a discount code, Chelsea10, and I'll get you 10% off their website. They have an American website and a Canadian website. So if you are Canadian, make sure that you're shopping on buffbunny.ca and not buffbunny.com, and that'll help you avoid any sort of duties charges or anything like that, because it'll be shipped from a Canadian warehouse. And let me just show you guys what I got, because why not? Okay, we are in my room. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you the items that I was kindly sent by Buff Bunny because they're all super cute. So first up we have this sports bra. This is such a glam looking sports bra. I was like, holy shit, like this is nice. Look at this. So it's got this little cross front and then the back is all like open and just crisscrossing little stretchy spandexy material. I think this is so cute. I love the little gold accents. Like this is a fancy sports bra, okay? You show up in this, you look freaking so cute. So I love this and I love a white sports bra because it pairs with everything. And honestly, this almost looks like a top. I also got these really cute leggings, which I'll have to try on because this cut is honestly like, I'm like, how is this gonna look? Is it gonna look like I have like underwear lines? Like look at this cut, the way that it is. See these, they go down like over your legs, like into your legs. And the back looks like this. It's got like white seam details on it. It's made of their like super soft, comfortable material. So I'm just gonna have to try this one on and see what this looks like on. Then this is the shirt that I think I'm gonna wear today to Pilates, just because I feel like wearing a long sleeve, I'm like always cold in this weather. And I think this one would be really cute, obviously with the sports bra underneath it. But it's basically just this little pink, long sleeve, quarter zip. Looks like it's gonna be like a spandexy kind of top, so like tight and it's just adorable. It's got thumb holes, you can wear it on your thumb. I love the baby pink. Like how girly is that? Super soft, again, the materials are like insane with this brand, like they're so comfy. I love it, so I'm really excited to put this one on. I get all the tops at Buff Bunny in an extra small, by the way, and it seems to fit really well. Then I picked up this little sports bra top, which I love. It's a little bit lower. It is like a long line little tank top. It's got built-in padding, so you've got some support in there. And then the back is just all open crisscrossing. Like how cool is that? I love this. I love that it. again, it's almost like a little top. <laughs> you could like wear it out and about, which I love. I love the light blue and just how open it is. Again, the softest material ever. I think this is that, I don't know what material this is, but it's just like, it's so soft. It's like silky smooth softness. Then there are these shorts, which I love. They're like blue, and I love all of the little line details on them with the different colored stitching. So you have like lime green and then white stitching on them. They're like a seamless front, so they don't have any stitching in the front. And then the back has this little cute flattering like upwards on your tushy. So cute. I don't wear shorts as much now that it's like fall and it was just cold, but I love these. I feel like a hit workout or something. I love shorts. And then last up, I have two items. They're both this black material and it's kind of got this like 3D, looks like leopard print almost. Like it's kind of hard to see that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like this 3D stuff that sticks out. Super cool. I think this is, could be from their Undead collection, but I'm not sure, 100%. Um, and they're just super flattering, long black leggings. And then I have the matching little sports bra, which is super cute because it has this little zipper detailing in it, which I'm sure if you actually had tatas, would be really flattering and like push your tatas together. I don't though, so. You won't see that for me, but I still think this is super cute. So that's everything that I got from Buff Bunny. I'm gonna put the pink long sleeve on now, cause look how freaking cute. Let me just put it on, one sec. How adorable is this? 
It fits perfect. I love it. It's made of like a really nice sweat wicking material, but it's like form fitting. It looks really cute with these leggings. These ones are not from Butt Bunny. These are from Story. They're just like a gray legging, but this looks so cute together. I look like a Pilates mom in this outfit. Your girl is here for it. I feel like I want to try on those leggings though, just to see. Should I put these on? I'm going to put these on because I know you guys are probably curious too what this cut looks like with the stitching that it looks interesting. So we're going to try them on because I want to see what this looks like. I'm too curious. I'm too curious. Okay, honestly guys, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it looks like I have underwear on over my leggings. Am I going crazy? I feel like that's what it looks like. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this, if I'm being honest. It's not bad, but I don't love this, this. I need to see how people wore it on the website. Because to me, it just looks like, it, it does give a good like, if you were doing like an 80s workout, you know when they always wear like the, almost like the leotard underneath over the leggings, like that would be like a vibe, like you're doing like an 80s workout, but just like this, don't know if it's for me. I don't hate it. Love the material. Love how soft they are. Love the fit. Don't know if this if this trim. This is for me. <laughs> Guys, it is super dark and gloomy, but I am off to my Pilates class now. And when we get back, I just want to have like a cozy evening. I want to heat up my dinner. Maybe watch a movie, like some, like a feel good movie. I feel like like there's like a new romance movie on that I kind of want to watch or possibly um, what's that new movie called? School of Good and Evil on Netflix, one of those. But I'm going to go do a quick little hour long, quick, quick hour, <laughs> just a quick hour long Pilates class. And it'll probably kick my ass because every time I do Pilates, I feel like I am the least fit person ever. I don't know what it is about blogs, but I'm just like, I, I'm not that good at it. Which is why I probably should do it more, you know? Challenge myself. Anyways, I'm gonna head out now. Make sure I don't forget my water bottle. Look at all my cute little stickers on it. Okay, off I go. Hello guys, I am back from Pilates, it was really good. I also ate my dinner. I literally was so hungry when I got back. I devoured my entire thing of leftovers, which was delicious. I then ate some chips and I ate some leftover cookies from the night before too. I just ate a lot of food, okay? I need to digest that. It was a lot. I've also, I said I was gonna watch like a movie, but I've been watching Love is Blind season three. Is anybody else watching Love is Blind? Let me know because I feel like it's so good. I'm like addicted to it. I also just feel like these people, there's no way you're in love. I'm sorry. Like you talked in a pod for a couple times. Like how many times do they actually talk before they get engaged? Cause even then I'm like, I don't know. Personally, I'm like, I feel like you're infatuated with the person. Even if it's not physically infatuated, I feel like you're mentally infatuated with the person and then they're all going through the bumps in the road once they meet in real life. Because also people I feel like are putting on their... Do you want to go get it? I feel like people are putting their best foot forward in these pods. And then the real them's coming out afterwards. So anyways, there's been a lot of drama. A lot of drama already. I'm just like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Bring me your toughie. Bring it. No, not that. No, not your ropey. Bring your toughie. Good girl, bring here. No, Tuffy, not rope. She's crazy. I'm also, I have finally started, it starts with us. I'm on chapter three, so barely in it. I plan to read some more before bed tonight. I wanna hopefully get in bed by like 9 p.m. and then read like five chapters or something like that. I wanna to get to chapter 10, I feel like that would be good. This is a pretty easy read, so. I feel like I'll be able to burn through this one pretty fast. And I love books like this. Like I'm like a nice romance. It's, I'm here for it. Oh, sorry, Millie, I just scared you. Also, Millie's sweater came. I got her a Halloween sweater, but she hates it. It fits her perfectly though. So honestly, I might, I might have to just put this on her for Halloween. And I was also gonna make her wear it to the pumpkin farm this weekend. It fits her perfect. Like she's being a little bit dramatic. Okay, 
I got the right size. This is an extra large, can you believe it? It's tiny. I guess they don't make clothes for big dogs because you're not even that big and this is extra large. This is extra large. I feel like, oh, you hate it that much. All right guys, I'm gonna do some skincare now. I am feeling so tired. I'm just so tired. I'm like ready to go to bed. It's like 7 p.m. Okay, this weather is just bringing down the energy levels. It's just draining them. <laughs> it's taking my energy with me and I'm so tired, but we're gonna do some skincare. I actually think I might do a mask tonight. I was thinking about it. I don't know though, should I? <laughs> I have two different ones that I could go for. I have the Kiehl's um, Rare Earth Deep, Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. It's like a mud mask. And then I also have this um, from MyBland. It's their Skin Renewal Peel Mask. It's basically just a mask, but you leave this one on for like 10 minutes. It has a bunch of acids in it to like exfoliate your skin. I don't know which one yet, so I'm just gonna wash my face. I use this little duo for my double cleanse. So I use the Sulwasu um, Gentle Cleansing Oil, and then I follow it up with the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Purifying Foaming Gel Cleanser. This one's great if you have oily, acne-prone skin. It has zinc in it, which helps decrease your sebum levels. I don't know why I'm putting that on. But yeah, it has zinc in it, which helps decrease the sebum level levels in your skin, which is great if you have acne-prone skin because the main cause of acne is excess sebum. Just clogging, clogging the pores. So I've noticed a big difference in like my whitehead situation since I've been actively using that cleanser. It is a bit more drying though. Like I will say that my skin definitely gets more dry. So I have to make sure that I'm using a lot of moisturizing products on my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with my second cleanse. This one's also soap free, paraben free, non-clonogenic. It's like pH balanced, all that good stuff. I've been really liking it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask, and I'm basically only gonna apply this in my T-zone, because that's the only place that I have bigger pores and I'm a little bit more oily, and it's nice just to clean out that area a little bit. So definitely around my nose, because this is where my pores are the biggest, like ginormous. So I'm just doing it all around here. And then I'll also just take it up like between my eyebrows, and just like here on my forehead gets a little bit oily. I'm really just focusing this on my oily areas. My chin's not honestly that oily, it's just like this, just this area <laughs> for me. So I'm gonna leave that on. I think you do it for like 10 minutes. I think like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna leave that on for a little bit and then continue on with the rest of my skincare. I actually think I'll just take while I'm waiting for that, because I'll just end up wiping that one off. I'll just take my retinol and apply it where I needed to apply it for today. I'm not gonna apply it all over tonight, just to give my skin a little bit of a break. So I'm just putting it in my little problem area. So basically anywhere that I'm just breaking out, which is just here. And I have little breakouts right there. And I'll let that sit in my skin as well. Okay, I am back and I'm gonna wash this mask off of my face now. I always use like a washcloth to get these masks off because I've tried doing it the other way and it is way too difficult to get it off. And honestly, I think that that really helps with my pores on my nose. I'm gonna just apply a bit of a moisturizing serum now. This is a Hyaluronic Acid 3 Serum by Cosarex. It's really good. It's like basically just hyaluronic acid and like ceramides. So super hydrating for your skin. And then for moisturizer recently, I've been using the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer. As you can see, I put a big old dent in it. It's so good. A little bit goes like a long way with this stuff. It's super moisturizing. You can really feel the honey benefits that are in it. And that's my little skincare for tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> I still have everything in my little travel bag from when I went to Aiden's house. And honestly, I'll probably keep it in there because I'm heading home. 
this weekend. I don't feel like unpacking again. I'm also just gonna buy some more lip balm. The NARS Orgasm Lip Mask is really nice. And that's my skincare. Funito. I'm gonna go back to watching more. Off his blinds now. I'm wearing my burgundy tracksuit. I'm like comfy level 100 right now. Okay, it's that kind of day. Guys, well, I'm super zoomed in. <laughs> Hello, I am in bed now, and I'm about to just do some reading for bed. I'm super tired, as I told you guys, ready to hit the hay. <laughs> but I'm really glad that I got myself to go to that Pilates class today. I actually really enjoyed it. I feel like with me, when it comes to Pilates, like it really just depends on the instructor. I feel like there's certain instructors I've had where I didn't enjoy it, and then other ones where I really enjoyed it. So I really do think it depends for me on who's teaching the Pilates class, whether or not I'm gonna be into it. But I really liked the one today, it was super good, and I'm just really happy about it. Anyways, I'm going to read some more of It Starts With Us. I wanna get to like chapter 10, hopefully. So gotta stay awake to read <laughs> and get all cozy Millie's down here I'm like randomly really warm so I'm laying on top of my covers right now <laughs> but anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed today's little vlog give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new and I will see you all tomorrow for my next one bye